I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I coach people and organizations to play big, huge. And the question I was asked, well, let me just pack, pack and say, I worked as an executive recruiter for more than 40 years, filled more than 1,200 positions, yada, yada, yada. So the question I had for today is, what do employers search for? Technical skills or a higher GPA? I think it's a great question. Now, I want to start off by saying I interpret this as being asked by a less experienced person rather than a more experienced person. A more experienced person, it's rarely a consideration what their GPA is. Now, let's be clear. Uh, if this person you know, has the right professional skills, and I'm going to go beyond technical skills here for a second, but assuming they have the right professional skills and experiences, you know, things like the university and the GPA become the wow factor, you know, that this person was bred for success. But for the average individual who's less experienced, you know, I'm looking at this question and going, let's look at how a, a firm searches for someone. Because again, well, I'll come to resumes in a second, but you know, if you're being sought, if someone is searching on a job board or on LinkedIn for you, they're doing the search based upon first the technical skill that the firm is looking for. And they're reading your profile or your resume in order to see that you have it. Then they're looking at the academics. Now, if you have academics first, you know, it's only coincidental that they're looking there. It's not going to make them go, I must call this person, because if you don't have the the technical background, it's completely irrelevant to them. They have a need that needs to be met, and you have to have the skills and experience to meet it. And thus, the differentiator for you after you've met that baseline of having the right skills and experiences becomes the university and the degree, uh, um, the university, the degree, and the GPA. So first is always technical skills or professional experience, and second becomes the university, the GPA, you know, the degree in the degree program and its reputation. I'll give you an example. A friend of mine you know, used to do recruiting for hedge funds in Chicago, and they only wanted to see people out of specific universities with specific GPAs, period. Now that's more the exception to the rule, but it exists, so I wanted to address that. So in answer to this question, it is always about the skill, particularly when you're less experienced. Uh, again, it doesn't matter if we're talking about technical skills or quote professional experience. It always starts with that because they're searching and they're working with uh, keywords in order to find, it, find you. Now, if you're submitting a resume, on the other hand, it's a little bit different because they're not searching. You, know, you can call attention to your GPA in the body of your email to which you attach your resume as part of your sales thing. So, for example, if you've got a 4 0 from Stanford in a particular program, you lead with that. And you talk about a year out of college uh, you know, that you've been working for, fill in the blank organization. That's different. But for average uh, Jane or Joe, it's always going to start off with skills. Uh, I'm sorry, with with skills and experience, and then secondarily go to, to GPA. Hope you found this helpful, and have a great day. Take care.